Information Processing Theory. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Teacher Pauline, and today I will be discussing about Information Processing Theory. Information Processing Theory is a cognitive theory that focuses on how information is encoded into our memory. The theory describes how our brains filter information from what we're paying attention to in the present moment to what gets stored in our short-term or working memory and ultimately into our long-term memory. The premise of information processing theory is that creating a long-term memory is something that happens in stages. First, we perceive something through our sensory memory, which is everything we can see, hear, feel, or taste in a given moment. Our short-term memory is what we use to remember things for very short periods, like a phone number. And long-term memory is stored permanently in our brains. History of Information Processing Theory Developed by American psychologists including George Miller in the 1950s, Information Processing Theory has in recent years compared the human brain to a computer. The input is the information we give to the computer or to our brains while the CPU is likened to our short-term memory and the hard drive is our long-term memory. Our cognitive processes filter information, deciding what is important enough to save from our sensory memory to our short-term memory and ultimately to encode into our long-term memory. Our cognitive processes include thinking, perception, remembering, recognition, logical reasoning, imagining, problem solving, our sense of judgment, and planning. Information processing theory examples. Creating memories by using different stimuli. Sensory memory is the first stage of information processing theory. It refers to what we are experiencing through our senses at any given moment. This includes what we can see, hear, touch, taste, and smell. Sight and hearing are generally thought to be the two most important ones. In a learning environment, you can engage people by training in a variety of styles that appeal to different senses. For example, you can explain the benefits of a new product orally. This engages people's ears and is known as echoic memory. Show them an infographic that conveys the information visually, which creates iconic memories. And hand around samples of the product so that they can touch it. When you present information in a variety of different ways, you ensure that you're appealing to the strengths of everyone in your training session and increasing the likelihood that they will retain it. The role of our short-term or working memory. Information is filtered from our sensory memory into our short-term or working memory. From there, we process the information further. Some of the information we hold in our short-term memory is discarded or filtered away once again, and a portion of it is encoded or stored in our long-term memory. A number of factors impact how we process things in our working memory. This include our individual cognitive abilities, the amount of information we're being asked to remember, how focused we're able to be on a given day, and how much of our attention we give to the information. We also have the ability to focus on the information we deem to be most important or relevant. Then we use selective processing to bring our attention to those details in an effort to remember them for the future. Repetition is a crucial factor here. If we want our trainees to transfer crucial information from their short-term memory into long-term storage, we must repeat it more than once. Encoding information into long-term memory since we filter out information at each stage of processing, 
trainers should employ certain strategies to ensure your audience understands a topic in depth. This include breaking up information into smaller parts. There's only so much information we can take on board at once. So when you're training, you should move at an appropriate pace, giving your learners plenty of breaks and opportunities to process the information. Make it meaningful. Trainees are more likely to retain information that's meaningful to them by connecting it to real-life scenarios and to their own personal experiences. Connect the dots. To optimize the chances of material being retained in long-term memory, you should layer the material by providing sufficient background information and connecting the current lesson to what was previously learned and to what will be learned next. Repeat, repeat, repeat. One of the simplest ways to encode new facts into long-term memory is to present it more than once, repeating information in different formats. Verbal, written, visual, tactile is a great way of doing this. Thank you for listening. For more related videos about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!